Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to tutorial number two. Um, today we're going to be teaching you guys how to do the slide up and down transition. So, first of all, we're going to start off with slide up. Um, so, what it does is you're just going to... Yeah. <laughs> it just slides up like that. Um, but this time I added some blur so you guys can um, see how it works a little bit better. So this this blur is an actual like blur, it's directional blur, which is kind of like motion blur except it doesn't actually track direction, it just blurs it in one direction. And so it's a lot light, it's a lot lighter plugin to use and I love to use it when I'm doing the slide up transitions. But slide down also, same thing. Pretty cool, pretty cool transitions. This one's a little bit more complicated as you can see. On the other one we only needed four layers, but we don't really need this background layer. It just like, the blur messes it up. So like, that's what the blur does. It, so I need this background layer just in case the blur messes up. Um, again, that project is down in the description if you just want to copy it from there or you can follow this tutorial. Um, which I find um, loading project files into After Effects kind of slows your After Effects down, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. I don't know why this is back at 60. I'll put that back at 30. Here we go. Let's slide up first. All right, so again, import your stuff with Control I. Um, if I miss any keyframes, they'll be down at the bottom here so we're gonna go ahead uh -huh. you know it's easy to use these fortnite clips they're always so similar too i'll pick two different ones because when you're doing transitions you're usually transitioning between scenes that's why in some edits that i do you'll see that i actually reuse the clips later on because it, it, it just fits you know. So right now, of course, there's a jump cut because we don't have any adjustment layers hooked up to it. Um, turn off the audio again. So that, like that, it's some um, kind of janky, am I right? Um, of course, you're gonna wanna sync it up with something, but this is just, again, for sample. It's just an example. So again, add a new adjustment layer, right-clicking this, going to new and adjustment layer, uh, cutting it with control shift D and keep cutting it like that. Also when you're doing control shift D you want to have the layers selected when you're doing it. So select them both and we'll actually select one, add motion tile for the effect to it. And then I'll put height, uh, height and width to 300. Last time I said 3,000, I'm super sorry about that. I'm just, was not into it. Um, so, and then after you that, did that, we'll go and search for transform. Apply that to there and apply it to the second clip. So now what you wanna do with transform is keyframe the positions on both of them at this center spot. Select them both and uh, hit U on your keyboard. Set keyframes over at the ends. For some reason, it won't let me go to the actual end of this clip. It's it's weird. After Effects, fix your stuff, bro. So once you're back in here, um, for the slide up, you want to go. Let's see. Yeah, you want to go 1080 on this middle one, on the bottom layer, the one that leads in. You want to put 540 to 1080. And it also depends on what kind of, um, what kind of resolution yours is at. If it's at 4K, you probably want to just, like, whatever is in here, like this was 540, you want to just double it, so times it by 2, and then set this one to 0. So yeah, and then again, 
select them, hit F9, go in the graph editor and drag these all the way to the right. And do the exact opposite for these, drag these all the way to the left. There you go, you got a step transition, but it's not smooth, it doesn't look blended enough. Um, the reason why I always do blurs for this is because it needs to look smooth because it won't won't fit into the clip otherwise. So again, we're going to add another adjustment layer, cut it to the length of the transition, and add a thing called directional blur. And what this does is it just blurs it in one direction. It doesn't actually track anything as I mentioned before. Put the blur length to 100 and go into um, keyframe blur length on here. I'm gonna hit U just to cancel out everything else. And then you wanna keyframe just the middle and the sides. So I'm gonna put the sides to zero. Easy ease them. Uh, go to this, put the middle one all the way in and put these just a little bit just a tad bit in you don't want to go all the way with this or it won't be noticeable see as you can see it kind of blends those in but you can definitely tell there was a transition there so yeah so all you really need for this transition is five different layers Again, that's that's all it does. Let's slide up. At the middle, you can see there's some black here. I kind of like to put that in because it looks it looks pretty cool to me. But if you don't want to have that, you can add a transform effect to it and go to transform, scale it to like 110 right here. Put it at 100 here and put it at 100 here so and then you want to easy ease those once again so you don't have the black along the edges yeah again these clips are provided by team allude go go follow them they're really underrated um, that's why I started editing for them. They're, they definitely deserve it. Um, so yeah, if you don't like directional blur, you can use RSMB and sort of things. There's another directional blur uh, from Sapphire, which I don't see the difference, but apparently there is. It's just Sapphire is more advanced. I don't like to get in that stuff. So um, next up is slide down so we're gonna go here duplicate this clip and do a slide down all right so again delete these two you can keep this top layer because it doesn't really the blur does not affect anything so we're gonna do a new adjustment layer cut it here along the sides so again, this is review sort of. Add both tiles to both of them by putting this one at the right settings and then copying it with Control C and Control V on the next layer. After that, you add transform. You want to transform this one and this one. They're two different ones, so don't copy them. Once again, and then click position. So after you've done all that, you want to press U on your keyboard when you select them both. Again, put a keyframe at the end of the clips. And then for, for slide down, you want, um, you want this one to be zero and this one to be times two what you already have in there. So you can times it by two by doing the little little star thing and two. Uh, which the little star thing, if you don't know, stands for two. Again, easy ease them and drag them into the middle. Uh, this one to the right and the other one to the left. Once you've done that, 
you have a perfect slide down. It looks pretty cool when you had have the uh, scale in because it, it gives it a little bit of um oomph to the sort of scale down. So you can kind of put this scale in like at 150 or something if you want. And then it kind of like impacts. If it's on a beat, that looks very cool. But yeah. Um, again, you can add a um, very cool effect to this. Like any sort of warp would look cool. Like pixel sort. Pixel sort looks very cool. When you do that. I don't have pixel sort myself. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I don't have that. So... Yeah, that's scale up and scale down. If you guys really enjoyed this tutorial, please like and um, at tutorial. At I mean not tutorial. At 10 likes on this tutorial, I'm going to be making a final, final intro tutorial um, on because I'm not doing intros anymore, and I kind of want to pass on my the information I've learned from this past two years of making intros. Um, I will. Be doing intros on switch if you buy one but it's not like I'm gonna be doing them mainly I'm going to I will do them but I'm just not going to openly do them really because it, I feel pressured on this channel and I hope you guys understand that why I'm leaving so yep <laughs> that's I just hit my desk but that's about it um that's your side up and down transition if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button, um, and hopefully we can get to like 400 with these, um, I'm gonna try and turn this channel around, <laughs> so hopefully we can get to 400 subscribers, that would be amazing, but, uh, again, hope you enjoyed this video, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later. Yeah.